Hello everyone, this is Johnny Orange, and today they release information on Versus and Garrix and we're just going to go over the information we have available to see how strong this commander could possibly be. Hello everyone, and today we're going to announce the ninth commander to enter into Total War Arena, and that will be Versus and Garrix. So Versus and Garrix, for those who don't know, was the nemesis to Caesar during his campaigns of Gaul and almost stopped the complete conquest of Gaul, but himself eventually was defeated along with his massive army and he was taken back to Rome in chains. So today we're gonna to have a look at his orders and see how he matches up. So we're gonna have a quick look at how these abilities work in the battlefield Total War Arena. So we're gonna take a look at the first ability, which is natural fortifications. Now what this does is increase terrain bonuses and also reduces the negatives. So if you're fighting in- So as we can see here, he doesn't, like he's actually losing this combat even after he pops the ability. And they didn't really show him using it for movement. So the only thing I can presume from this video is that it's a buff on the 15 or 25 percent that you already have, not the 125 percent. So at tier one, this ability is all basically fucking useless at tier one. And then even at tier 10, which this is showing right here, the negative, it says negative 55% to the, you know, the negative effects of terrain. So the movement speed debuff is 90%. So you get 10% negative speed. So negative 55% of that 10%, you're traveling at 95.5% speed, which is okay. It's decent. And in Forest, you will receive, I think it is a 55% buff to your melee defense and melee attack over the year, the original 25%, so it's decent. Which isn't anything special by itself, but we'll go through the other abilities and see how, you know, good this guy can be if you combine all of his abilities. Because this ability by itself is pretty fucking average. Woods, this will increase your speed and so forth, where it usually would take a negative, and also... Whoa, so hold on a sec, so now you are getting a positive buff in the woods for your speed. Okay, it says negative 55% negative terrain bonus, basically. So you start off with negative 10, and then you minus the 55% of that negative, how does that turn into a positive? I'm not sure how the fuck that exactly works. Does that mean that the buff for melee it says 120%, so you get 120% extra in the forest to your melee defense and melee attack. How the fuck? How do you take a negative and turn it into a positive? You'll still be down 4.5%. How does that turn into a positive? Because as you said, usually you would have a negative speed, you know, debuff in the forest. Usually, but if you have this ability, apparently you don't. But it only takes away 55% of the negative, which would, would remain with a 4.5% negative in the forest. It's not... It's still negative. It's not positive. But fuck it. I'm just gonna have to check it when it comes out, I guess. Don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Increases the damage you would do being a light infantry in woods. This also works on any medium and heavy infantry, so cavalry and range units will be able to do much more damage from the woods, where previously they would take a penalty. The second order for this. Now, this ability to me all depends on how your fourth ability works. Is it a ramp up effect like Vengeance is now, or is it like the old Vengeance? If it's like the old Vengeance, you have basically a Scipio ulti without the defensive bonuses, but you know, you can't retreat, and then you pop your fourth ability like the old Vengeance, you're fucking ruining cunts. But, if it isn't like the old Vengeance and it's like the new Vengeance, it's pretty average, really. There's a bunch of uses for this ability, though. You know, you can't be routed, that can always be useful. But, it, you know, if it's going to be overpowered on the other hand, that all depends on the fourth ability. Because a big problem with uh, Germanicus even before the nerf was that he could still be routed. You know, he could still be routed and then he would fucking die. 
But if you have that ability and you can't be aroused, you are going to fuck people up. Garrix is Iron Discipline. Now what this does is freezes your morale. So at a point of impact where usually you would take a massive morale shock, you're able to lock it down and for the duration of that ability, your morale will not move at all. So it's very good for last stands and also very good for prolonging fights that previously you would have lost quite quickly. Vercingetorix's third order is Scorched Earth, and this is going to be an area of effect flame attack. What your units will be able to do is throw this in front of them, or even into combat, or even over hills, and onto the enemy, and this will cause uh, damage over time. And if they're an entrenched opponent, like artillery or just infantry hiding in a place, they're going to take a significant amount of damage over time. So it's going to be very, very good for denying areas from enemies. Now the minute I fucking heard him say... You can use this in combat. Just like stakes, I guess. Just fucking chuck some big ass AoE. Do you see what it did to that sword unit? Tier 8 heavies. It fucking annoyed. And he said, yeah, just chuck it into combat. So I guess just place fucking stakes down in combat. You know, just, oh god. Did. How many people fucking hate people putting stakes down in combat and now you're introducing an ability which is. Possibly even fucking worse. That was a tier 8 heavy sword unit that died to your one fucking ability running through it. Like, at least when you run through stakes, some of your guys survive. And this is getting introduced as in you should chuck it down into combat. As in, this is not... Oh, this that, that whole ability right there makes this commander worth playing. He could have just that ability. And the thing is, when he used that ability, it was fucking instant. Like maybe it took two or three, maybe two seconds for the fire to actually get started, but he just popped it down and it started off like instant. At least fucking stakes have a time period to place them down unless they're playing Caesar. I mean, come on, that was like chucking down an acid bomb. And it's on a 60 second cooldown, you have 3 units. So every t 20 seconds, you can just chuck down one of those fucking acrid smoke fucking things. Which are fucking stupid anyway. And you never run out. You never run out of them. And at least when catapults fucking use them, that's all they've got. Once you get into melee with them, they're fucking dead. And I'll show you how stupid that acrid shit is. I'll sh just show you now. And now imagine this. Getting spammed by a unit that can engage you in melee. So this is Acrid Smoke in action. And basically, this is the only fucking hit I landed all fights. Because at least you can have a chance of dodging catapult hits. What this new commander is going to be doing is placing this shit on top of you. Even if you're already in combat. So imagine this. And he can spam the fuck out of it. Imagine this going on every 20 seconds, he can land one of these fucking things on there. So from that short period of time, from basically that acrid smoke, look how many points that racks, look how much damage that racks up. It killed three heavy units. So as you can see, it did a fuck ton of damage, and that was the one that dropped the acrid smoke. Now you're going to have a commander running around who is light infantry, so if you're heavies, you can't catch him. He can place that shit on top of you as basically that acrid smoke and you're fucking dead. You're dead. Light infantry beats heavy infantry now. It's totally just fucking stupid. No matter, there's no point. Zero point playing heavies. And this is what I don't get. You just remove Caltraps from the Romans, right? You just m nerf the fuck out of Germanicus. And now you introduce this. Wait. What the fuck? Jesus, I'll oh, just let's move on. Actually, let's not move on because the rest of the video doesn't fucking matter. The next ability is like vengeance. Apart from it delays damage for a bit. Whoopty fucking do. You know, depends. If it's like old vengeance, who gives a fuck? Oh well, if it's like old vengeance, it's fucking overpower. If it's like new vengeance, no one gives a shit. But this ability right here, so who on the forums is like, oh, I love the fact that you can put stakes down in combat. 
I wish you introduced more abilities like that. We need more fucking shit, like fucking traps getting placed out in combat. Who has been saying that? Who are these cunts? So now you're introducing an ability that does this. And it's made to do this. And it's in a bigger AoE area. I'm pretty sure no one likes people that drop fucking stakes in combat. Because it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. You know, you can't disengage. They just gotta hit you in the back. That's the thing, make stakes go both ways then. At least that's one thing about this ability. If you put fire down, it's going to hurt them if they try to chase you. But then again, the fucking AoE is that long. Do you see how long that thing was? So if you run away, you're dead. So let's look at what Barbarians have at the moment. So their tier 8 unit has Shield Bash. They have unlimited fucking pylums. And now they're introducing even more bullshit abilities, like putting... Well, they got Vengeance, and now they got Traps. The better Romans. <laughs> They're old school, old school fucking Romans like they used to be. So basically, barbarians are javelins that can melee and also put traps down in combat. They're, they're just fucking. Yeah, they got fear. They got battle cry. Now, now they can't be fucking routed. They've got vengeance. How much more shit do they need? When, <laughs> when does it end? When does it end? But fuck it, everyone display bar rings. It's just... That's the way it's going to be. Alright. That's the end of the video. Fuck it. See you later.